new M1A2C tank, the best on planet Earth. Does M1 Abrams or specifically new M1A2C can stand a chance against the latest Soviet tanks if World War III broke out? Let's find out. The U.S. Army is preparing the M1A2 Abrams, its long-serving main battle tank, to be able to fight through the 2020s with some upgrades. The latest version of the tank, now designated M1A2C, could well be the last upgrade for the Abrams until a replacement vehicle is fielded sometime in the next decade. As relations with Russia deteriorate, the Abrams is once again America's most powerful weapon in a ground conflict in Europe. In 1980, the Army unveiled a new tank that was a clean break from previous tanks. Totally unlike the previous generation M60 main battle tank, the M1 Abrams featured sleek, angular features, top-secret Chatham armor imported from the UK that mixed ceramic and steel plates for superior protection, a powerful and quiet gas turbine engine, new crew survival features, and a fire control system that allowed up to 90% accuracy at ranges of 2,000 meters. Since then, the Abrams has received a steady stream of upgrades meant to keep it ahead of the competition. In 1986, the tank received a larger, more powerful 120mm German-engineered main gun, and in 1988, a layer of depleted uranium, 2.4 times denser than steel, was added to the armor to increase protection. These Cold War era upgrades were meant to ensure the Abrams could outshoot the latest Soviet tanks if World War III broke out. The next set of upgrades was driven by the need to operate against guerrillas and included remote-controlled .50 caliber machine guns, since popping up out of the turret to fire the machine gun yourself mostly just meant the soldier doing so would end up dead by a sniper, explosive reactive armor meant to dissipate the shape charge of a rocket-propelled grenade, which first proved deadly in the 1973 Yom Kippur War, and a telephone to the tank crew to communicate with nearby infantry. The winding down of wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, along with deteriorating relations between NATO and Russia, means Army thinks the next round of upgrades should be oriented again towards big power, full-on mechanized warfare. Round of upgrades to the Abrams tank. Russian ground forces have been involved in the occupation of Crimea and Russia still maintains a large ground force on its western frontier thanks to its invasion and ongoing occupation of eastern Ukraine. As a result, this latest round of upgrades once again optimizes the Abrams to fight enemy tanks, back from the focus on asymmetrical warfare. The new Abrams tank is the M1A2C, formerly known under development as the M1A2 SEPV3. It now has a system known as Ammunition Data Link that allows the tank crew to set a distance for a tank shell to explode, ensuring it detonates inside a building instead of sailing right through it. By making sure the shell goes where it's supposed to go it lessens the likelihood the shell will fly on, possibly inflicting casualties on civilians. The C model also features even better infrared sights, a low-slung, remotely operated .50 caliber machine gun for the tank commander and an auxiliary power unit, APU. The APU allows a tank to power communications and sensors, monitor
change to a tank that weighs nearly 70 tons fueled up and ready for war. The Army has been experimenting with Trophy on the Abrams for a few years now. In 2017, Colonel Glenn Dean, a project manager at the Army's Redstone Arsenal, told Military.com that he tried to kill the Abrams tank 48 times and failed. In 2018 the Army announced plans to purchase 261 trophy sets, enough to outfit three armored brigades. The Army will likely send a M1A2C equipped brigade to Europe as soon as possible. Thanks for watching US Military One. Subscribe for more.